Hello everybody, we are trying again with this boss, let's take no damage. The one with no stitches on it is the one that will the one that bounce back, I guess. Okay, you can't go forever with these guys. I'll be going to about 25 damage here in this one. Considering it's the first boss, you know, four times is just about enough. Be careful here. If you take any damage, like I said, it will hurt you. What is that thing? What kind of rattle is that? It looks like one of those things used at parties, birthday parties. What are those things called? Uh. Cool. Well, that's the TG years. Well, he doesn't look like those at all. Like a new version of it. Or something. I'm probably just talking gibberish now to you guys, but. You know. Hey, baby, got hurt. Can you get the idea of the general motion? Okay, this guy isn't really that hard. This guy's actually pretty easy, boss. Oh god, it's just creepy. His jewels and his belly mount. What kind of rattle is this? Rattle's supposed to be circular in his head, though. No? Get it right. Okay. Uh. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, I'm failing. That wasn't fake. That's not what fake is it sounded, that was not fake. Whoa! The baby has a mind of his own! Okay. Make sure make sure you understand around here is to start tricking you by going in an opposite direction for the first few seconds. Uh don't fall into his trap. Uh be prepared. As dumb as it sounds like going so far, it is a very evil trap. You think he's going that way, you're like, oh, I'll go this way then. Okay. If you're gonna get past that, you're pretty safe there. Uh, you can probably suck him up at this point, and, uh, you can. This guy's the worst boss in the game. Not as bad as Bogmire, but he's pretty bad. Bulosis isn't that bad. Uh, King Boo is, oh, god horrible. God awful! That's the word, god horrible. This is Painter Dude. He's actually easier than this guy, even. He's like my favorite boss in the game. I love him. You gotta fight all the enemies you fought. Like, not these guys, but the, uh, regular ghosts. There's basic enemies that you fought already. It's like, hey. You guys, your bosses? It's actually more of a mini boss, really, because it's like it's so easy. It's like a joke. It's a joke because you have to fight Bulosis right after. There's no level before Bulosis. Oh yeah! I got Chauncey! That's his name. That's his name, I remembered it. That lamp. That lamp. That creepy lamp! <laughs> it's gonna break off the hinge. Look at it. Look at it. It's gonna like break off the hinge. Jeez. Beautiful. It was just creepy music at play. It's even creepier than the regular song. Jeez. This game was probably one of the first games that's like actually managed to creep me out. Uh, there's nothing in there. Look at that! That is not a normal key. This is a boss key. Let me call someone awesome, I guess. Okay, it's time we beat people in the paintings, and we are going to use the ghost we've already caught! 
I love this cutscene, I don't know why. It's always half. Yeah, I feel bad for those ghosts. And there are different ratings for your paintings, like bronze, silver, and gold, that are how many catches it took. That's gold. Gold. Got gold on them all! And for the bosses, the big bosses, you catch them multiple catches, no matter what. Uh, they are worth uh, let's see, uh, health damage you take. But anyways, uh, look at this. This is what your score should be right now. If you're doing good. I am. And you can see our G went back up to a normal number. Number. Other than zero. That is grand. How much money Luigi's going to make at the end of this game. Damn it, I wish I could make that much by grabbing a few coins. But anyways, yeah. Their coins apparently are worth more than ours. And we can walk through here safely. So we'll check that lamp real quick. Nothing in the lamp. The book. I almost forgot the book. Check the book real quick, and then we'll see if we can actually move on. We're ready. Nope, we're not. Okay! Um, we're not just going to move into like a little area like the parlor right there. We're going to move into a hallway like this. But, uh, the hallway we're about to walk into isn't that bad. This one's actually kind of nice. It's, the, the mice aren't very crammed up in this one. Because it's bigger. A lot bigger. But, uh, you can get lost in this one if you're not careful. This is why I wouldn't want to live in a mansion, just saying. all the rooms we've been into. This is a ghost. These are bats. Uh, the little ghosts, like the mice. Uh, they aren't that bad. There's also bomb elemental ghosts, which you don't get elements from. They actually make your vacuum explode. Uh, but there are dudes, those big dudes you talk about from the ceiling. Uh, they're just zero health ghosts who actually catch the flashlight. Uh, just starting the vacuum with them will make you catch them. Uh, I don't know if I demonstrated it very well. There's another one just like the bull. Uh, you know what a bull means? Uh, well, first, get a life. And second, yes, they throw bowling balls at you. That was a money ghost, a running rat, or mouse, or whatever you want to call it. Mouse rat, that's pretty big for a mouse. Whoa. Jeez, he dropped a lot. We got our totals out there, you should have five gold bars. Whoa. Didn't feel like dropping uh, any jewels there. Don't want to drop any jewels, that's a bad idea. Let's catch you guys, let's catch you guys. Catch this yellow dude, come on, jeez. There. It's an actual ghost, yeah. Nintendo got insane indeed. Just explore this little area here, you know. It's kinda of, just to let you guys know but they're up against what kind of freakish horrors you're up against. In the next episode, we will tackle the next room. Thank you for watching.